Hello everyone and welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name is Michael and I'm bitten by a radioactive book. Today is Thursday and that means female fantasy author feature on my channel. And today we're talking about one of the most famous female fantasy authors of all time. It's Robin Hobb. Robin Hobb is most famous for her works set in the realm of the Elderlings, which is a world where most of her series or trilogies play in. And she introduced us into the world with the Farsia trilogy, starting with Assassin's Apprentice. Here we are following Fitz, um, who is the son of a prince and uh, he's a bastard son and therefore he is not that well liked at court um, and he is raised by a stable man there um, a retainer of his father and his father is mostly absent and we don't get to see him uh, in the series um, and Fitz is yeah getting into a lot of intrigues and um, the stories around him are very character driven so it's more about Fitz's relation to all the people around him to his enemies to his friends um, at court so it's a very intense tale very emotionally draining and demanding of the reader but very very good and detailed um, it's, it's very slow paced um, uh, in, in terms of things that are happening because the main focus is really on the relations of the characters to each other. Next up we have the Life Ship Trader series starting with Ship of Magic. Um, this is also set in the same world as the um, Farsia trilogy but it is a multi point of view narrative and at the center of the um, yeah, stories is a family, a trading family, and um, they have a very interesting or very interesting kind of vessels because uh, they have like living ships. And for a ship to live, I think the owners must die a certain amount of owners and their kind of life force goes into the special wood of the ship and then the ship kind of awakens and becomes a sentient being and uh, yeah we are witnessing one of those awakenings but we're also going to see other life ships that have I think even a point of view. Uh, uh, we're seeing points of views from the the family involved uh, and also other characters that are related uh, somehow to the story. Um, that is a very different approach than the the Farsia trilogy, which is uh, strictly a first person narrative. So it will be very interesting to see how those differ from each other. For the third series in the realms of the Elderlings called the Tournament series, um, Robin Hobb returns to the character of Fitz Chivalry from the uh, first books. I can't really tell you a lot about it because um, when I start some kind of series I only read like maybe the blurb for the first book and uh, so uh, I don't know much about uh, the other book because I don't want to, or, or the, the second series because I don't want to get spoiled um, of it. And I haven't finished like the first trilogy. I've read the first two books in the first trilogy, but not the third one. Um, so uh, I only can assume that, uh, yeah, we're returning to, uh, to Fitz. That's all I know. Uh, and that is actually a pattern. Um, in in the series um, of the realm of the elderlings which we'll see um, shortly when we get to the fifth series but of course uh, before the fifth series there's the fourth series it's called the rain wild chronicles um, and uh, this is a quartet and um, one of the main 
foci of the series are actually dragons, because um, uh, in the Life Ship Trader series, I think that uh, the Rain Wild plays a role, and dragons are living in this kind of Rain Wild, and this book seems to focus more on, on them and their surroundings. Again, I don't know much about the series, just that kind of kind of outline and that it belongs to the bigger realms of the Alderling series. And last but not least we have the fifth series called the Fitz and the Fool series and the Fool is actually a very important character in the Farseer trilogy and I assume in the Tawny Man series as well and therefore um, yeah uh, calling the series Fitz and Fool, uh, yeah, is a big hint that, of course, it is another series than from the point of view of Fitz, maybe even the Fool, I, I don't know, um, but for the fifth series she returns to uh, these characters. And the first book of this series is out. The second book comes out in August, and I would assume the third book will be out next year. Um, and I don't know if she's going to continue with uh, her Realm of the Elderlings series or not afterward, but we're going to see. Apart from that, Robin Hobb wrote another series called the Soldier Sun Trilogy. Um, it's not part of the Realm of the Elderlings as far as I know, and it um, is the typical story of a son uh, or a young man who has to become a soldier, I think, because the second son of the family always becomes a soldier, and he's going on a campaign to fight some kind of forest dwellers. And these forest dwellers, I think, uh, have a bit of a Native American vibe to them. They have shamans and uh, they have magic, and if I'm not totally mistaken, over the course of the series, uh, I think um, the, uh, the protagonist, uh, Nevar, is becoming suspicious of the actually, uh, yeah, kind of ambitions of his kind of kingdom and also becomes sympathetic to those uh, forest dwellers and so his kind of uh, loyalties are questioned um, in the in the book so that seems a really interesting series as well. So these are all the series Robin Hobb wrote as Robin Hobb. But some of you might already know that Robin Hobb is actually a pen name and the actual author, the writer, is called Megan Lindholm and as Megan Lindholm, she also um, published two series as well. So as it's of course the same writer, I want to include those two series uh, to give you even more options to get started with Robin Hobb. The first one is the Windsinger series. This seems to be more of a classical fantasy series um, with uh, two gypsy characters and they are, I think, uh, um, hunted by harpies. So the first installment in the series is actually called Harpies Flight. So these kind of mystical creatures uh, play a role. There's magic in the world as well. So that is going to play a role. And um, the, the series is a quartet. So, um, yeah, you can get started with it right away. Uh, it's not part of the realms of the Elderlings, of course. Uh, so, another point to just get into her writing. And last but not least, we have the Reindeer People, um, which is um, a duology, I think. And here we see something that is similar to um, the Soldier Sun trilogy that was what I found really interesting because this actually is a story about um, Native American 
people and maybe their, their mythology and how they survive in uh, the cold north. So uh, we saw that kind of element of interest already in, I believe that might even be her first series, I don't know if it's the first or second. Um, uh, but this element seems to be something that intrigues uh, Megan Lindholm a lot. And so as Robin Hobb, she wrote another series that has uh, yeah, um, a group of people that are very similar to the Native Americans. So that will be definitely interesting to see what uh, she does with the um, real thing. Um, uh, I believe it has fantasy elements, because all of her series have, but I'm not sure about it. So, that's our look into the works of Robin Hobb slash Megan Lindholm. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, tune in next week, because uh, we're talking about so, uh, another very interesting writer as well, not as well known. Uh, we're talking about Carol Burke, and I'm really looking forward to this installment. If you liked this installment here um, about Robin Hobb, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of me, subscribe to my channel. If you want to know what's coming up on my channel, please look inside the description box. There's a little segment there called On the Horizon. I wish you a good day and hope you get bitten by a really good book too. Bye!